Well, thank you very much, Stephen, for taking the time to join us today. I wanted to talk to you about uh, your most recent announcement on the Ontario Liberal Education Recovery Plan. Can we talk about what that is and how will that benefit us? No, I'm, I'm delighted to have this opportunity. Thanks so much for having me back on. Uh, so many of your audience might know that in addition to being a political leader, I'm also a dad. My daughters are in grade eight and grade four here in York Region, where I, we live with my wife. And so I've seen, we've seen firsthand over the past now more than a year, how brutally difficult it's been for uh, students, for moms and dads, and for everybody who works on the front lines and publicly funded education to go through the pandemic without the proper supports or class sizes that were too big. Boards have had to scramble. Teachers have had to scramble. It's been exhausting for everybody. And so today I put out a plan, a plan I'm really proud of, the Ontario Liberal Education Recovery Plan that talks about what's needed to be ready for this September. I know we haven't finished the current school year, but September is not that far away. And so when I think about my daughters and what I want for them and for the kids right across Ontario, uh, I want to see class sizes capped at 20. I want to see significant more resources, um, significantly more resources for mental health challenges, for kids with special needs, better ventilation in schools. If you're a kid who's in high school, you and your mom and dad want to stick around for an extra year, that fifth year of high school. I want to make sure that's an option that's available to you. Bridging those learning gaps. I mean, there's so much that we need to do. And my gravest concern, my biggest fear, again, as a father, is that Doug Ford is not going to do the right thing and not make the right kind of investment so that this September and beyond, our kids are set up for success. You talk about investment. So can you tell me exactly what this would cost to uh, implement your recovery plan? Yeah, the total price tag that we have on the investment for the Ontario Liberal Education Recovery Plan is $2.3 billion. Now, I know that seems like a big number, and let's be clear about this. It is a big number. But here's the thing to remember about investments in publicly funded education. Just a couple of years ago, the Conference Board of Canada put out a report now this is this is not you know this is not an extreme or radical group. This is the Conference Board of Canada. They put out a report that said for every dollar that you invest in publicly funded education, you get a return of a dollar and thirty cents on that one dollar. As a former economic development and growth minister, I can tell you that our biggest competitive advantage in this province is our highly skilled talent. That talent doesn't happen by accident. It happens because we invest in education at all levels. So. That dollar thirty return on the dollar we invest tells me this is the right thing to do for our kids, for the moms and dads out there who so desperately need peace of mind for this coming September, and for the economy and for the province as a whole. So you announced this recovery plan then, and and you mentioned how much it's going to cost. So what do you do with this plan now? I mean, uh, do you hand this over to our premier and say, look, at this is the plan we got. Where do we go from here? Yeah, listen, I said this this morning when I officially announced it. I hope Doug Ford takes it. I hope he uses it as guidance. Uh, if he wants to work with me on it and the rest of our team, I'd be the first person to, and I'm, I'm putting up my hand right now here on your show. If Doug Ford and his team want to work with me to make sure we create a safe September and we build a truly remarkable publicly funded education system, I'm delighted to do that together. Based on the experience that I've seen over the last year and a bit, I am really fearful that Doug Ford will not take this approach, that his approach will be half-hearted, it'll be half measures, he'll push the buck or pass the buck out to school boards, he'll blame the feds, he'll even blame moms and dads, students and teachers. That's not what we need right now. The past year and a bit's been so difficult and so grueling. We need real leadership, leadership that's positive and forward-looking. But if I'm wrong and Doug wants to work on this together, I'd be the first person to say yes.